You're watching Zach Pack TV. Hey YouTubers, yeah, I just wanted to do this quick video for you guys. Unfortunately, I didn't film the process of me installing the countertops in my kitchen, but this is the, gonna be the end result and three years of use and abuse on these utility countertops and farmhouse sink. This is the updated sink, but as you can see, there is a, I guess it would be a sink back, uh, like a, where you would put soap, hand soap, and obviously your sink will be the, or your faucet will be the same height as a sink. On these updated farmhouse sinks, they only go to about right here. And then it, then you have to mount your sink down off of, or your faucet down off of the sink. The older style farmhouse sinks from Ikea that they discontinued actually had a place where you could put your soap, mount the sink, and I like this better with the laminated countertops. If I had a solid surface countertop, I would have been more opted to put that sink down there, but it also I felt like it would have been harder to clean around, but you still have to clean back here. But what I noticed with having this set up is if when, with your wet hands, one thing you do is you go back and, and push the sink handle off to turn it off and then you've dripped that water there. So if this board wasn't, if this, this is actually, I'll get to this here in a minute. It's not, it's not wood, but I'll get to it in a minute. You see that water drip there. Well, I can easily wipe it down into the sink with my rag, towel, whatever my hand as you can see so i like it for that every so often i'll have to clean back here because i've let water from doing dishes or something go back there but it's always an easy i just make one swipe with my rag and it's it's good now i guess there's good and bads about this but i will say these utility countertops, I'll go to these countertops, have held up great. They are, they are Ikea. I just kind of wiped them down a little bit just for this video. They could use a, an extra scrubbing. But as you can see, this is a heavy, uh, heavy used area for our counters as well over here. I did notice one nick right here, little ding or something it almost looked like something fell i think it was a knife or something fell and chipped that you could fill that in with like an epoxy paint or something of that nature but you can tell that the caulking probably needs redone right here but it's getting a little grungy looking and over here there's just a little piece here it's like a, a foot wide or give or take but it's held up pretty good um, no major gouges or scratches. We keep hot stuff off of this, obviously, or it will tear your counters up. But yeah, I didn't get to do the install process, but as long as you follow the instructions and everything, you will be golden. You, you are supplied with these end strips. And what I did was I tried to keep the ends that were gonna be visible factory. So like this is a factory edge, obviously the front's factory. I think I was able to, yeah, this was a factory edge here. So I just, I, I can look in here and tell that the factory edge went all the way through. So I was able to use the factory edge there and here. And I think where I didn't use factory edges were on one of these sides. I can't remember which one, I think it was this one here. But you get these glue on edge strips with the counter. And these were at the time sold as utility counters for like laundry rooms and stuff. And me and my wife decided to put them in our kitchen. I think now they sell them for kitchens or advertise them for kitchens. But this is the new updated farmhouse sink. And this is not three years old. I actually, six months ago, I replaced this. And for the other remainder time, we had a big crack about right here in the sink this is lighting this isn't yellowing it kind of looks like yellowing but it's actually just our lights up here they're kind of a get a yellow tint to them but this is only six months old i will say one downfall for these sinks is keeping them clean obviously because they're white 
um, and keeping heavy objects from hitting them and cracking them because we had actually a couple cracks. Something heavy fell here and we never figured out what it was. It must have been when our sink was full and something just like a big heavy pan or something just fell and hit it or we're not sure because the cracks slowly started to surface as it got dirty and grime filled in the crack. But this is only six months old. Other than that, I will say the sink before it held up great. It did show a little use as far as like scratches and stuff of that nature, obviously. But this is not like, I wouldn't call this anything close to like a Kohler made sink. So if you're looking for Kohler, or something of you know of durability this probably isn't the sink for you i will say if you keep it clean and keep heavy stuff out you're going to be happy with it for years to come but it it cannot have uh, handle extreme abuse but other than that i'm happy with it and another thing i worry about with these sinks is if they ever do a design change or something you already have this counter. If they say this seat got cracked or damaged and I wanted to replace it, the old farmhouse sink wouldn't have fit in this exact cutout. So that was one thing you're faced with. But a good thing about it is these counters are pretty inexpensive. So you're not gonna have to worry to sweat about replacing it unless you have like a big area attached to your kitchen sink or just a big area in general that would make switching the counters out um, kind of expensive for you. So we actually have an area over there, I'm not gonna show it because our house is wrecked, but we have another area over there with a, probably a four foot piece of counter and some cabinetry. It's kind of like a little coffee bar, but obviously we got our coffee here, but that's what I call it. Um, but yeah, I guess wanted to really touch on this though as far as the sink goes for, for those that don't really care for this not having a sink back. I instantly thought of this when I put the first sink in and it actually, this is three years old and I was able to pull this up. So what this is, is a piece of PVC, we're just gonna call it board. I don't know exactly what it is, but you can find it in Lowe's, Home Depot, any of the box stores. So, for the dimensions of this, it is a five and a half by, I think three quarters. Let me, I got my tape measure here, in my pocket. I don't know what they call it at the store, but yeah, it's looking like right at three quarters. They might call it a one by six, cause it's five and a half. So they might call it a one by six piece of PVC board, but I know it came in like a, it was at least a six foot piece. I had, I think I had enough to do another one of these. If, if I needed to down the road, I saved it. But you can see here the edge, what it looks like. It's PVC and I got some caulking in there. I could have caulked probably this whole thing smooth, but I just left it and what I did here, I didn't, I wasn't able to fill the process because I was just in a hurry getting this in, but you can see here I left, there's a little bit of a lip. So the lip is probably, I'd say a quarter of an inch. Actually, I would do more of a quarter, more than a quarter of an inch just to make sure that this isn't too flimsy. It looks like, let me see what I did. Oh, that's, now that might be, it's probably a quarter of an inch or a little more. I'd go a little more just to be safe because it is a little flimsy, but I've had this off and it didn't break on me. I mean, it's PVC, so it's just like made out of the stuff that drain pipes are made out of and stuff of that nature. So you could make this a half inch if you wanted to, but what you're gonna lose is this gapage right here and that's probably why I didn't go much more than that so if you want it to look like this I would use a half inch but what I did here was I ran this along my saw so I 
I ran this here, I set my saw, my table saw, so I was able to set a depth on it and cut it like that. And then I think, that's why I'm trying to remember how I did this. I ran this, this cut here going horizontal. I ran that first on my saw. So what I did was I set my guard up and everything and then I ran it down the saw standing up on edge. And then I ran it down the saw with my guard reset for the right height that I wanted for this here. So that way my saw blade stopped right here and it did cut all the way through. So that's how I did the whole process. You gotta take your time with it cause you can cut through really easy. It's better to take off or it's better to go only, uh, I guess, what you think could be a little less because if you cut too much into it then you're gonna have more to more stuff to fudge and and fill in with caulking and stuff of that nature or whatever you might even be able to cut this end off but this is a factory end if you need to and then what i did was i cut the pieces that i that i sawed off or the piece that i sawed off i actually took the ends and i rounded them with I can't remember if I used, I think I just used a jigsaw or something. And yeah, that's what I used was a jigsaw blade. And I rounded, before I cut them, I rounded it. And then that way, it when I push that in there, it's like, it's not a triangle, but it it's like a triangle, but with a curve on the bottom side, if that makes sense. So that's how I did that. And again, this has been here for three years. I really like this. I wasn't sure at first, but I like the old style farmhouse sinks after researching them before I bought this one. I was like, man, it really stinks because with, with the laminate, I'd rather keep as much water off of it as possible. And that way I got a place to set my soaps and stuff of that nature. And this can take more abuse. To me, I felt like it could take more abuse. And it has, there's no, there's no gouges or markings. Um, this cleans up easy with Mean Green. I've had to clean it a couple times and scrub it. And also a note I wanted to touch on was I had the Ikea farmhouse drain that, or I had the drains that go with, they're not the farmhouse sink drains, but they go with all their, they try to sell them with all their Ikea sinks and they got like a magnetic cover on them. I had those, but really they were more of a pain than I wanted to deal with. Like I never kept the covers on and for the most part, these are always out. And as you can see with this style, this was like from Menards, a box store. I can, like if there are cereal stuff in there, I can kind of like push it down in there. I don't use garbage disposal disposals because I feel like those just are more of a hassle than what they are. And I don't like having with kids and even myself put my hand down in there to grab a spoon or something. I just don't like the idea of that. So I've never been a fan of, of garbage disposal, but I make it work, I make it work. And that was another thing I wanted to touch on. And that around here, when you're putting your farmhouse sink in, make sure not to use plumber's putty. That's what's originally made, or yeah, it's designed to seal up these drains, but with the porcelain, it will seep the, there's something in the plumber's putty that will seep out and cause your sink to yellow. So what I use is 100% clear or white silicone. And I think I used white silicone on this one this time. And I will say that there's no yellowing whatsoever. You can see here with the, light, the right lighting um, that there is some scratching and stuff like that just from brushes like probably scrub brushes and pots and pans and stuff i'm sure there's a way to, to clean the sink up that would probably be a different video but i haven't got to that point where i've had to really do a deep clean on this you can actually see silicone from when i did this drain job it's not wanting to come off i've been picking at it every time i do dishes and it's still on there so that stuff really holds up good so yeah I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video. These cabinets, if you're curious, they were just oak cabinets and we painted them white. 
But yeah, we really love the IKEA counters and the sink. I like it for its looks, its dur um, durability, I wouldn't say is the best, but it works. It's not, it's not like greatly deep as far as the sink sides, both sink sides go, but it holds quite a bit of dishes if you're one, if you're one that piles them up. But I like to keep my dishes out of the sink, especially when you have something like this. I like to keep the, the white looking good and, and not a bunch of dishes just laying around in there. So yeah, I would, I would recommend this to someone that wants to stick with a budget because the sink is inexpensive. It's only, you can get it for like 200 bucks on sale every now and then in the counters. I can't remember, but I know they were pretty inexpensive as well and they were easy to cut and work with. So I, all in all, I would recommend this to someone for, you know, that's not looking for the, the highest quality out there, but just something that's gonna look good and be affordable. I think this fits the bill. Just make sure to keep heavy stuff from hitting the sink and you will be fine. And that's all I got for today. So I hope you enjoy this video and please subscribe. I'll show you guys a little, another project I'm working on. If you subscribe, I'm gonna be having a video up of my rustic farmhouse pantry door. And I will put everything in that video of what I've done to this door. So stay tuned for that. Get a little sneak peek of the other side. It's definitely got some character to it. So hope you enjoyed this.